Good morning. Welcome back to Physics with Mr. Branka. We are going to do our first lab of the year together. This will be the first assignment that's actually for a grade. Uh, so this is AP Physics 1, Constant Velocity Car Lab. See that there on the title screen. Uh, reminders, just a few reminders before we get started with that. Make sure that you have turned on notifications for your Remind classes. Uh, your teachers are going to be communicating with you through this, so make sure you have that on. Uh, you can check that in the settings part of your Remind. Make sure that you're logging into Canvas every day and that you complete the daily exit ticket so that you will receive credit for attendance in that class. And then just as a reminder, posted office hours in Canvas are under the About the Teacher little icon you'll see there. For this class, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11.50 to 12.40. Uh, we'll be there on this Friday, so please stop by. Just kind of check in. That way you can see me, and we can just kind of chat and see how everything's going on your first couple of days with class. Okay, Constant Velocity Car Lab. Here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, yeah, there it is. We're going to be writing a procedure for this lab. This will be your first graded assignment. Um, a procedure is really a step-by-step -step instructions that you're going to need to follow to complete a task. A uh, way to think about this, this is how I think about a procedure. Think about a recipe for cooking. They give you the, the ingredients. Those are basically the tools and things that you need to do the lab. Your ingredients for this will be the equipment that you're going to use. Uh, and then the procedure, basically the step-by-step -step things that you're going to do. Uh, so for this lab, what you're going to be doing and turning in will be what is your step-by-step -step procedure? And then you're going to need at the end to come up with what is the speed of the car in this lab. I'm going to go through the equipment that you're going to need. Most of it, I'm going to, I'm going to demo it for you. Uh, this, so equipment-wise, you're going to need a car, which I have. So I'm going to be doing that part for you. Uh, that's going to be the thing we're going to be determining the speed of. To help us get distance, meter sick, that'll help us get distance. We're actually going to measure two meters with this lot. The third piece of equipment, there's a third one that you're going to need to get velocity or speed of this car. Uh, you're going to know distance because I just told you it's going to be two meters. The other, I want you to pause the video here. Think about what would be the other piece of equipment that you need. So go ahead and pause, and then once you've thought of it, come back. Okay, now that you've paused, hopefully you thought, hey, I'm going to need a timer. Uh, so you're going to be needing to time the car from the time it starts till the time it ends. One of the things we're going to do in this class is for a procedure, one of the first steps you're going to need to do is tell the person that you're doing the procedure that you're going to repeat it multiple times. Uh, the reason for this is so that you know your data is more accurate. If you do it one time, you're not going to be able to know for sure if the data you're using is accurate or not. Uh, so. I'm going to switch back to the camera so you can see me actually do this lab. All right, now we're actually going to go through the lab part of this for you guys so you can actually get your calculations and measurements. I'm going to hop over to the other side. Okay, so what I have set up for you is two meter sticks. So your distance is going to be two meters. So there's our meter sticks just back to back. Uh, we also have the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this procedure three times. I'm going to measure it. I'm going to let the car go and have it run two meters three different times. Uh, I'm going to give you a countdown of three, two, one, and then go so you can time it. Uh, and then I've got a little book set up down here so that you can see when it gets to the end of the meter stick. So I'm going to start it from this end. I'm going to give you three, two, one, and then go. And then you get to do the lab and actually time it. So here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. And stop. Okay, so that was our first trial. Whenever you do this, you want to do it multiple times. So here's our second trial. Three, two, one, go. And stop. And the last trial. We'll do it one more time. Again, give you the three, two, one, and then go. Three, two, one, go. And stop. And there is what your lab will look like. So your job on this is to write down the procedure for what I did for the lab. Make sure you include, do your procedure multiple times. And then I want you to actually calculate how to get velocity based on the data from the lab. So you'll need the procedure, basically a chart of your data, and then how did you actually, and then what is your, 
<clears throat> excuse me, what is the actual velocity of the lab? Uh, this will be under assignment, so that's where you will turn it in. If you want to do it just written down, handwritten, and then take a picture of it and turn it in, that'll be fine. Or if you want to do it on Microsoft Word, save it and upload the Microsoft Word file, that is also fine. Either way that works for you is fine with me. Uh, we will have office hours today that's posted in Canvas and it was also in the uh, slide there before. So if you have questions or if you want to, I'd love for you guys to show up that way. I can just see you and kind of meet you that way and you can see me. We can have any questions or anything related to the lab or just class. We can make sure and ask about them. Uh, and that's where I will be next. So um, office hours, there's a link for that in Canvas. So feel free to um, be there and hope to see you there. All right, y'all have a good rest of the day.